Oh, oh, he has, he got his weapon. So, interesting thing, bros. I was about to check out the new Star Wars Squadron cinematic, cause you know me, I, I'm a bit of a fan when it comes to Star Wars. <laughs> So, and then you guys blasted the comment section about the take over New League of Legends cinematic and I was like, oh, I guess we're doing this then. Today guys, we're gonna react to take over cinematic from League of Legends, so I hope you're excited. We had quite a few League of Legends videos on the channel as of now, the most recent one being KDA Popstars with the Ari as well as Rise, which was pretty sick, so I'm quite pumped to see what this one is all about. It looks more like animated anime style, which I'm a big fan of, so it should be pretty sweet. As always guys, let me know in the description what was your favorite part, as well as any other recommendations you guys might have, and we'll take it from there. Did you guys know that YouTube, Netflix, you know, the internet, scripts your results based on your location? Ha! <laughs> But if you use today's sponsor guys, Surefshark VPN, you can not only protect and encrypt your data online when it comes to browsing or your internet provider, but you can also unlock every single thing when it comes to your online results. What you can view, Surfshark VPN makes it extremely easy guys to basically unlock your internet. Like I used to be in the States, now I'm in England. I move around here and there, whether it is for projects or other things. And I really get annoyed by having scripted results when it comes to where I am and where I'm browsing from. And I'm like, oh, that's not very nice, is it? Now, the awesome thing is, guys, that they have an amazing deal going on right now. If you use my code, Chris Connor, you're gonna get an insane 83% off with the cherry on top of three months extra completely free. But what is the kicker? You can try Surfshark VPN for 30 days with a money back guarantee. So basically you can try it out, see what it does for you. And if at the end of the day you say, you know what, it's not for me right now, you're just gonna get your own money back, which is pretty epic. And with a single account, you can use it across infinite amount of devices. I'll have the link in the description, check it out. Let's fire YouTube and check out the new League of Legends cinematic. So I have it pulled up, full screen, in one, two, three, Go! Ooh. Go. Oh, that's a cool beat. Oh! Oh, face palm. That's pretty cool. I see where this is going. Round two. Sick. What? Oh, that was sick. Oh, that is a cool weapon. Oh, try it again. Oh, that was sick. Oh, you start from the beginning as well. Oh, that's pretty sick. Oh, oh, he got, he got his weapon. Oh, that's awesome. That is sick. Oh, look at the art style though. Oh, that was sick. Oh, he got it one of them. 
This is too epic, man. Too sick. So it was the chick from the bicycle. Oh, that was sick. Oh, that was too funny. Okay, give me a second, bros. Ah, oh, I still need to come up with a better, you know, like version. Oh, that was so good, though. Okay, let's take a breather and just like. Get back to it. Uh, that was pretty sick, guys. I mean, at some point, the art style just became insane when they were like in the dark beach kind of environment. I love that kind of look. Uh, again, we have a very cool parallel of like a gamer basically going into the game and at the beginning getting our ass kicked. But as we progress and we go back to it, we become better, better, and we like level up and be like badass. Uh, and I saw a lot of like similar things with Rise when they came to the weapons, the different kind of weapons and like the characters and things. And I like like how it like shows you that you start from the bottom and basically you can rise up and take over the next guy. And I like the cool part of like the guy being like the one that is like giving him the thing to like get things started off and he's like puts him back in which is pretty sick and it's just like it's a really cool parallax of like keep going in keep trying keep, keep better, getting better and then reaching basically the top tier and becoming a badass so that was awesome that was pretty sick and as always guys in part one we react to them so now in part two we're gonna dive right back and get basically like a filmmaking breakdown and just talk about super cool things so i'm gonna fire this up again Go back at the beginning. The, the the beat was really sick as well. So it just that's the thing with the League of Legends cinematics, man. They do not like let you breathe. They just go right into it from like the get go. They just start and it's like drops you in. Here we go. And you're like, oh okay, let's do this. So we have the same girl that's at the end and the guy both doing bicycle stuff. Bicycle stuff. And look at the art style. It's so crisp, man. I think isn't this like. I don't know where this is supposed to be. I'm sure you guys know. I mean, you can, I can kind of guess, but I don't want to be the guy that says there. And then you guys are like, <laughs> bruh, it's obviously that. So, but look at the art style, man. Everything is so crisp and it's just like so gorgeous. So we have a very nice buildup of the sound of the song, but I also like this kind of like move. So they start with the guys and then they pan up really quickly and you have like cool transitions. Oh, come on, YouTube, do your job. Back, back, here. So they pan up really quickly, and as you have this bridge, it kind of cuts like up, and we go even faster. And you can use, when, it, when you do like real life stuff, right? You can use elements within your composition to help you transition faster to something else. So from here, let's say you were under the bridge and you do the same camera move. When the bridge passes by, you can use that element, for example, to fade to a black layer and then connect your next shot and bring it in this way. And this is a really cool way to like merge shots and transition your viewer in a very like epic and cinematic way. So we go up and we have the cool cape of the guy looking upwards. Oh, and he has the cat as well. Wait, did he put the cat? Is it the same cat? Because it has a red color. So let's take a look. So he's watching over, what a cool shot that is, man. Oh, Oppo, some product placement. Yeah, that's how you make money, you know? You need to fund your project concept somehow. So I appreciate that, I can relate, that's cool, that's cool. The colors are sick as well. We have more of like a warm tone, but anyways, let's go. So 
he's watching over them will have the cool perspective of like trying to show you what he sees whether it is here and so we have a similar angle to his eyesight basically as he's looking down we look down with him and of course when we flip up we need to kind of like show his position of strength we have so we have a similar reverse angle looking up to him very cool design he's just chilling up there so it's pretty cool so we have this very cool effect where we have the two guys and then everything is like so blurred out to like solve the consequence of speed. That is really sick. So these guys are going at it. Now we go to the beat and all visually you need to cut on the beat when you're making a music video. And that's... It was the same cat. I knew it. He planned all this, guys. That's pretty good. So the little cat goes in, he sees it, and he's like, no, hit the brakes, and then, oh, I like when they, League of Legends cinematics do a really good job of when to put some slow motion in, like when to expand time just for a bit to over-dramatize things. I mean, look at his size in relation to the car, so that's pretty interesting. And we have Mercedes as well, mm, another, you know, brand. So he flies over. Oh, fails. oh my gosh, guys, I haven't ridden a bicycle for so long now. I used to back in the day, uh, as most of us did, but I had a few like hits here and there, as I'm sure you guys have. So the guy keeps me up. That is very cool, man. How he like goes into the dark alley and you can see the contrast of color, like everything is like quite warm. But the alley is has not just contrast of light, but contrast in color as well. Like it's very blue and like cold toned. Cool. And of course, the symmetry of the image is pretty sick. And again, focus, guys. Another Mercedes car. Isn't that interesting? Again, that is sick. Look at the art style, man. It is so sick. It is so gorgeous. Like, look at this. You have like. Amazing. So now it gets really cool because it, ha it starts to have that cool parallax. Like, is it this? It looks like an Alienware kind of thing. Uh, so that instantly, if you're a player, you can relate to this kind of like having an awesome setup and it's basically your battle station and you will go in and wreak havoc. So you put the cool key in. I love this transition, how they transition him into the game scene. So you zoom in as he sits down and you could do this using something like a green screen, let's say. So if I go frame by frame, here, so you have the chair and you approach him and as you go close to him, the background kind of like expands in him and the, and the screen becomes the actual background. What a cool way to transition and carve but I can see this being done if you have live footage and you want to replicate kind of this really cool effect what you would do is when it changes from the scene where he sits you know what would be cool if he, they had like a PewDiePie chair that would be really funny uh, so when he sits when you cut to the next shot you will have a green screen and you will compose this background so because you have a green screen and you can cut him out instantly you can make a digital zoom or if you shoot in 4K or 8K, whatever it is those days, I lost track, really. Uh, you can just zoom in digitally and map the background on, of the green screen to be the actual background that you want. And as you zoom in and you bring the background, the digital background in, then you transition him to be in the location that you want. It's all about matching light and just using like visual effects. So that's pretty sick. So he goes in, he's like, what? Uh, then we have the cool guy that's been there a bit around the, the smirk face. He's like, fish, I'm gonna kick your ass. That is a cool kind of like weapon thing. It reminds me a bit of like the Halo blade, energy blade. That's pretty sick. Oh, I love this, man. I know this is anima animated and th that is animation, but you can get so many cool effects. And that's why I really like anime. Like I get so many creative ideas from them because they're just so sick. And like things like this, like teleportation. If you go frame by frame, you have a cool, you can see like, it, it, 
it's like the same creative thinking when it comes behind them so you can indeed take a lot of ideas and apply them to real footage so if you guys pay close attention here you can see a bit of wrapping starting to occur there so that's basically like a cool bul bulge effect like inwards then you have some cool rays then you have his out frame basically turning into this glow kind of like solid light layer similar to how you would do a light hair but <coughs> critics visual tutorials and the critic store <coughs> excuse me guys something happened to me uh, and then again you have like a C C lens kind of like ripple going through the page here and then he gets transported and you have this cool like inverted kind of like darkness to light thing so you blast off with spray sick and that was it and that was such a sick uh, teleportation the cool thing about this let me there's exactly so this cinematic does not use any natural sounds occurring there's like no sound design other than the music video and the cool thing about this is that it's still impactful like, this. oh I love how this song cuts when the when he slices him The character designs look a bit similar, I have to say, with the Rise cinematic. Do you see how they create the same exact shot as the first one, but his expression is the thing that is different? When it comes to, you know, like time travel or like repetition kind of things, like going back and having to do something again, you want to show that the character is going through the exact same thing and the way that you do this usually is to have the exact same move happening but the thing is you don't want to tire your viewers eyes by having the exact same thing happening so you can do two things to trick things up one would be of course the expression and the what the character does is different this time but also you can up the speed and the progression of how things happen. So the first time you would show the entire move, you would show the entire kind of like act of everything happening, but the second time you would cut things out a bit and you would show what's different. And then if you do it the third time, it's just you're just gonna go pop, 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 and you will show what's different. So that way the viewer understands that the character is going through the same thing, but for the viewer is not tiresome because they see it a bit differently. Similar but it's slightly different at the same time. It's pretty cool. See how they did not show the smirk face, they just showed the kind of like teleporting out. And now it's the difference. That is so sick. Look at the, oh, the composition, guys. How he is down low on the same kind of like symmetry. He is up high and they're perfectly positioned within the rule of thirds. Even the swords, guys, and you have this like vast, wide kind of angle viewing to the whole thing and the reflection, oh, it's just like amazing. He reminds me a bit. Oh, that's sick. I love sides, man. Sides are so cool. So he reminds me, this character, when he came to Rise, he was like in the lava cave, like with the arrows and stuff. Ah, this is sick. Go again. I, I, I love this, how it's like... So now it, go, it will go even faster. But see, now it starts from the cut and him getting him. Going to this one. Same thing, but now his expression is different. Sick. I do like the fact that you get like your, the ones you beat their weapons and then you use them. That's pretty sick. Look at this. This is so amazing, guys. When it comes to composing your shots, when it comes to photography or filmmaking, there's something that they tell you which is about l finding leading lines within your composition to compose your shot because if you can have 
natural light, whether it is a building or a landscape or something within your scene that creates lines of vision, you want to compose your shot in a way that those lines direct you to what you want to focus. So yes, again, this is animation. This was handmade, let's say, digitally. So they can do whatever they want. But the thinking and the techniques behind them are the exact same thing. So if you were in a forest and you have like cool trees, you would use a wide angle and then you will use the direction of the trees, as you guys can see here, to direct your vision to your character. So they chose this kind of like composition here and that super cool like overhead kind of like character going down and slicing kind of move in this perspective. So you have the cool light in the center going down. You have the leading lines of the trees locating your eyes towards the character on top of the super character move. Now, those things are very subtle. You, you don't like, especially someone that's not into uh, this kind of things, um, they don't and they don't directly know why it's happening, but subconsciously, all of these things do come together to create one epic impact. And the colors, man, look at the colors. Again, contrast of color, guys. Well, on the second stage, we have a very like vibrant kind of like orangey forest, a bit similar to the God of War short film, actually. But the moves, the final moves are very contrasty. For the first one, we had a very cold, like basically wintry uh, landscape, but the, the weapon and the colors were bright purple. Here, we have a very kind of like orangey, warm toned area and the slicing is like teal. Teal and orange is a very, very famous color combination when it comes to cinema to make things look really interesting. Uh, so that is really cool to see as well. Third stage. Again, look at that, That's, that is pretty sick. I really like sci-fi guns and stuff. Oh, I did not notice this. Let's see, let me play this once, guys, and then I'll talk to you guys a bit about, like, gunshots. Yeah, I really did not see it. It happened so quickly. Come on, Google. Did I say Google? YouTube, same thing. So if we go frame by frame now, we have a really cool scope with, like, a triple lens system, and its little lens, if you guys notice here, this one, in this one, in this one, they have different HUD elements on them, which I think is pretty cool. So if we go frame by frame, the moment the blast happens here, we have a negative kind of effect, so they turn everything to black and white, but in reverse. Then you have a flare, I've never seen a gunshot like this, by the way. Then you have a flare illuminating by just the flare, and then it cuts back and we have the cool lines, and then we have the shell eject, effect being purple and stuff that is so sick and they also introduced a, a like camera shake thing when it came to the gunshot to like just like up the impact of it oh, so I, I really like again like has the guns and the stuff like this reminds me the second stage or was it the first from Rise, when he had the thing with a kind of like samurai kind of thing, and he brings down like kind of like a thunder. That is so cool. That is so cool. This, this is my favorite by far. Just, oh, it's a painting, guys. This area is just amazing. Like the way the light works and it's so desaturated but has a slight blue hue to it and it's so great is this the guy that gave him the thing i'm a tiny bit confused because they look a little bit like has glass as well so did he want it to basically give the token to the new champion so for someone to take him down or something Again, his color is so extremely opposite to the environment and it's that vibrant scarlet red. It's so cool. 
he's such a master that he blindfold himself because he's just so OP that uh, he needs to do that in order to, you know, give the other guy a chance. But again, man, look at this. Oh, this is just like... Amazing. So he's using every weapon in his disposal. That is amazing. I really like in this cinematic so when you create things digitally, whether it is complete CGI or animation, you need to do kind of like the same things. Basically decide what is the perspective of things. So when you work with CGI, you can actually tell programs I'm using a digital 16 wide frame lens on a camera like this. Like you can actually select cameras and lenses digitally. Now, like in real life, if you have a camera, right, like I do now, now I'm using like a mid lens, like a 30 mil on an APS-C, which is approximately like 45 to 50 mil, and that would could be considered a semi telephoto, basically. So changing different lenses do different things on how, how they capture things. So here, across the cinematic, they've mostly used a really wide kind of like perspective of how they decide, and that just makes things, especially when it comes to fight scenes, really, really epic because they give you like such a wide view, uh, and it's just really sick. So, if we go through here again, you, you see how wide it is. Like, look at how close to the camera the lens and how his hand gets elongated as they position his hand in one third and his face to the other third, how elongated that looks versus if you use a telephoto, how close are they are. This is more telephoto. Can you guys see the difference? This is a bit more like cramped in. I really like the white stuff when it comes to fighting. Oh, he's blue by the way. Did you guys notice? His punch is blue. The other guy's punch is like red-orange. Contrast. We have kind of like a similar explosion how in Rise when he was on top of the mountain and the final move kind of happened. We had a very similar explosion which I'm guessing kind of like reflects the final hit, that final move that just wins the match. And now he got the bandana as well. Yeah, I have one too. Let's go. That's sick. Epic. Epic, epic, epic. Let's not forget to like the cinematic because this is sick. Like this video as well, guys, if you enjoy. And yeah, that was it. And then they cut back to the guy just chilling and playing on his phone. Branded. League of Legends, of course. That's, that was a sick, man. That was a sick. Bravo, guys. Amazing, amazing. Another awesome cinematic added to the Filmmaker Reacts episodes. So that is pretty sick. I hope you guys enjoyed yet another episode. I'll probably try to do uh, all of your recommendations, guys. I re go through everything. And yeah, I'll catch you guys on next time. Until then, stay creative and awesome.